period when you when I look back on that, you know, and I never thought about that until you mentioned it. You know, but it, it really was. It really was a time to, and, and I guess it had a, a, a huge effect on everyone. Very much a revolution time. And, uh, and so, you know, the things that were going on then, um, especially in the black community uh, with Martin Luther King, you know, that the, the time of his death, and, uh, and, 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 you know, I, the first chance I got to be involved, I think, with, with a black community was Keechai, Louisiana after that, which is like 1969, or like a year later. And that, I kind of stuck to that, you know. Yeah, after school, I, you know, I, I, was, I was mainly painting landscapes. Uh, all those years, and I was, I mean, I consider myself a landscape painter, and I love landscapes, and, uh, but I never even thought about painting portraits until, you know, I, I, I became close friends with all of these, these gentlemen uh, there in Louisiana. Just because of the features, the, 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 the character, the, the, the character in their faces and their stories, and, and I would, I didn't even care if it looked like them. I didn't, you know, it didn't matter. It didn't matter if it looked like them to you. It was just the way I felt them. And, and, and when they would tell their stories, their expressions that they would have on their faces and things like that, well, I just, I just wanted to capture that. You know, and I, and I just, you know, I had done portraits before, like in college, you know, to, to make, work my way through college. I did portraiteers, but, uh, but I, ne I never didn't consider myself a portrait painter, and I still don't consider myself a portrait painter. But to me, it was a painting that had a lot of feeling to it, and I could get a lot more feeling from that than I could in my landscapes, you know, because uh, there was a, a lot of beautiful colors involved, you know, in, in these people. Uh, Well, when I came there, like I was telling you, like in, around uh, 1969 and 70 or 71, and I was uh, just painting there. And um, before I really got involved with, uh, with these guys, I was just, I guess as a ploy, I w would, would do landscapes and I would say, well, you know, um, can I go to your house with you? I want, I want to go, I want to see where they lived. And I'd go to their house and, and I'd maybe do a painting uh, of their yard, uh, you know, looking out their gate across their field, you know, and that was my way of getting to know these people and getting them to know me so that they weren't, I was a hippie, and they, I didn't know I was a hippie, but as it turns out, I was a hippie, but, you know, I had long hair, you know, and, and, and they were kind of, they weren't too sure about me, and so, you know, and, and so I wanted to get to know them, and, and, you know, I worked my way around, so I did landscapes, you know, in and out and around their houses, interiors of their houses, and so, and, 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 and then they began to cook me food and, and I learned how to cook their food, you know, and uh, how to cook the greens and things like that. And, and you know, just real country food. But anyway, so, so this, so in, in, uh, in 1973, uh, well, I had already been, been, had my a 35 millimeter camera and I'd been taking photographs of everything. Uh, every day, I mean, I would take rows and rows every place I went. I just, it was actually just a record. I just wanted to record where I'd been in each place, you know. And I really didn't ever think about painting from those, but I just wanted, to, I, I, I couldn't paint that fast, so I re recorded that. And so then, uh, I kept telling these stories that they would tell me, you know, and I'd be wherever I'd come to Houston or I'd be in New Mexico and I would tell people these stories and, 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 that, and finally somebody said, man, you ought to tape those guys, you know, so I, I got to thinking, you know, that's probably right. So I've got a little cassette tape recorder and in 70, 1973, I started taping them, you know, and conversations out on the old store porch and places like that. They didn't know it was a recorder. They thought it was a camera. I just would set it down beside me and we'd start talking or I'd just stop and listen and let them talk, let them tell their stories. And so, uh, and, and that's how this all started. And with the combination of that and my photographs that I had taken, um, I, I didn't even discover that that was something worthwhile until in the last couple of years. I started collect, I started collect, I really started collecting that when they passed away. Uh, it's, uh, there was a couple of those guys that passed away and when they did, and didn't have, they didn't have any, any heirs, anyone who, you know, who, 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 who descendants of them who, who, who inherited any of this. And so I would just go there, there and like, like Ward's house, this fellow was named Ward Barnes. He was my, he's my main character and he was my main uh, subject. And after he passed away, he didn't have any children or anything. Well, I was able to kind of, I guess, save his furniture, save his, a lot of his furnishings. And, and I brought them and took them and put them in the old store. And I mean, that was back in 1990. 
And uh, I had them all these years. I never even thought about what I was ever going to do with them. I just didn't want to see them get destroyed. Ro Row House is a collection of, 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 of uh, shotgun style row houses uh, that was in, in the neighborhood of the, the, in the third ward in the neighborhood, and there are lots of them. But they were able to salvage about, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 30 of them uh, in this one street. Uh, well, actually, two streets. They kind of back up to one another. <clears throat> well, they're able to salvage those uh, and, and to become an art project. And it's a, it's a continuous, revolving uh, exhibit that goes on there, like, like in, in, in four and a half to five months periods uh, every year. There's two, two, two uh, shows actually a year. And um, that 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 are that happened, and and I I got involved in it because of this show that I had had in in a museum in in, in Victoria, uh, where I showed these photographs, and I had this 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 uh, we had we had produced this video uh, with these with these voices, and uh, but but the row house is the perfect place for for what I'm doing for for this project, and and the house. The row house that I'm in, all those row houses are almost exactly like these gentlemen's houses that lived in Kichai. They're almost identical to them. So, what did you show in, in this row house? <clears throat> well, in this in this particular in this particular exhibit, I have uh, a lot of I have most of all the furniture furnishings that were in this one gentleman's house, and there a lot of it is folk art. Um, like if they needed a little side table or something to use, well, they would just take some boards together and build it, you know, just nail it all together. And, and like a whatnot shelf or something, well, they would do the same thing. We'd just take some little boards and build a little shelf. Well, I, I salvaged all that because I consider it folk art. And, uh, but most, most everything in there that I, that I have collected, those are what for, could, could probably be considered folk art. Uh, but it's just uh, the, 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 to go along with that, and I have like a quilt um, that this gentleman, little gentleman that didn't, had lost his leg in 1940 uh, and couldn't, so he just made quilts. And so uh, I have one of his quilts in the exhibit. Uh, it's, it's a very primitive style uh, 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 African-American quilt. And uh, um, then I have uh, his poem uh, he, that he did in 1939 about the 39 Ford. This period of, of, of the early 1970s is, is, is really a very important period after what happened in 1968, the, the, the history of all of this, and the history, especially in the black community after 1968, when they had lost their leader, you know, and, and, and there was never, there, 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 I mean, Ward and all these guys there on the old store ports, they were just in limbo. You know, they didn't have anyone to, to really lead them anymore, you know, after Martin Luther King was gone. And, and, and so these stories were, were, in, were all involved in this. And, and, and my whole thing there uh, was that and, and, and all, the, all, these, all these portraits and all these photographs that I did of them uh, was um, from that period. And I think that, that, that that's a, such an important period uh, in, in, in history and I'm just lucky that I that I got those photographs and I have those uh, the you know the uh, the furnishings and everything that goes to it in, a, in a house and to the recordings that was done there. I mean, it's just, to me, it's just a, a little uh, uh, time in history that's gone, you know. And, and it it's it's I guess I guess throughout time there 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 are time periods and I mean they could I mean this could be like ten years, you know could be broken down into 10 year periods you know that this happened in a 10 year span and then that's gone then there's another 10 years that happens and you know when you start segments you know of, of our lives and that's just one segment that I got involved in but it, I, like I say it's gone the houses are gone the main med message I think that is the, the love that I had for these people and and the homage that I want to pay to them because they're all gone. I mean, I can't talk to them. I can't, and I can look at their portraits. I can look at, I mean, I'm talking about the photographs that I did. I can look back at those. I mean, when I was looking through these photographs, I couldn't believe, I, I hadn't seen these photographs since the 70s, these slides that I was looking at. And I, I just couldn't believe. And I, and, and, and I think it's, I think it's a, a certain amount of love that is, is the message that you can see that I, that I had for them. But I just, 